Alright, let's dive into pancreatitis. When I'm talking about pancreatitis, most of this will refer to acute, meaning temporary, uh, sudden pancreatitis. Uh, chronic pancreatitis will be more so the, the same, just uh, recurrent. So let's, let's just pretend we're talking about acute pancreatitis here. So here's the pancreas, and it is uh, located within the abdomen, and it's connected via biliary ducts to the gallbladder and the liver. And so those biliary ducts are where the pancreas uh, can release uh, most of its enzymes that will work their way uh, along with the bile and, and other enzymes uh, to the intestines. So the pancreas is, an, uh, is important for making digestive enzymes, but it's also important for controlling glucose, serum glucose levels with, by producing insulin, which decreases the blood sugar in the blood by allowing it to be absorbed by the cells, and glucagon, which shows the body, let's produce more uh, glucose in the body. So let's, uh, when you have pancreatitis, there's inflammation of the pancreas. And so this causes, typically here where it connects to the biliary ducts, you will see um, a clot of some sort that will basically make the bile back, or the pancreas digestive enzymes back up into the pancreas, in which case the and pancreas will pretty much be digesting itself at that point. Uh, that could be caused by a gallstone or any other kind of stone. So signs and symptoms of pancreatitis. So the, your pancreas now is digesting itself. So you're going to have lots of pain. And so your pancreas is on your left upper quadrant. And so you can have pain in your left upper quadrant that is very severe, almost knife-like pain. Um, and it's worse when you eat, or especially if you're eating alcohol, or drinking alcohol, or eating fatty foods, because those enzymes that it produces are uh, primarily for fats and things like alcohol. So very, the pain gets much worse when you eat. Um, and you can have nausea and vomiting, and it's still gonna hurt, and the reason being is, well, the enzymes are still in the pancreas digesting itself. Uh, so you're going to be having nausea and vomiting as well because you're having problems digesting the foods. Okay. Um, two other signs and symptoms you may see are great herbs and colon signs. So uh, what happens with pancreatitis is now it's digesting itself and it's releasing all kinds of inflammatory things and enzymes might be leaking out and it could cause some bleeding around that section of the abdomen. If it's bleeding to the umbilicus, you'll see some bruising around the umbilicus. It's called colon sign. And if you see bleeding or bruising uh, or on the flanks, it's called Gray Turner sign. The way you can know the difference is, yeah, Gray Turner, you have to turn the patient over to see their back, and you'll see uh, bruising there. So um, let's talk about some labs. So we see the signs of symptoms. You'll see increased serum enzymes. So the, the pancreas enzymes are going to be up, and these are ACEs. Lipase, um, amylase are going to be elevated. You might see also elevated glucose levels because it's not able to produce insulin like normal to lower those. And you may see increased white blood cell count, which is just because it's inflamed and it's um, maybe infected. So diagnosis is typically done with a CT scan. They go in, they look, they're going to see uh, a, duck, uh, a a clogged duct, and they're going to see that the pancreas is inflamed, along with the signs and symptoms of the labs. Treatment, you don't want this patient to eat, at least until pain is relieved. And so they're going to be NPL. And you want to make sure they stay hydrated um, by giving them IV fluids. And it's going to be quite a while. You may need to give them um, nutrition via um, IV as well. Or you can go past where the pancreas is and do it further in the system via an NG tube. You may also do a regular NG tube just for sucking uh, stuff out of the stomach so that there's not so much um, good stuff going through the stomach, um, which would be causing the pancreas to release more enzymes. Similarly, you may use proton pump inhibitors or H2 antagonists to tell the stomach to slow down so there's not so much going through the intestines, which are telling the pancreas to release enzymes. But you may also give these patients, once they do start eating, uh, synthetic enzymes that you can put on their food um, to assist the pancreas in producing the right amount of enzymes. Um, if you do this, you'll put the powder on non-protein foods because it goes on the protein. It's just going to the protein, not doing any good. And they want to make sure they wipe their, wipe their lips afterwards. These patients may need antibiotics if there is an infection that is the cause. Definitely are going to need analgesics and antiemetics to keep them from having pain and nausea and vomiting. And if it doesn't heal on its own, the next treatment is surgery or an ERCP, in which case they're going to go in and take out the, uh, the obstruction, uh, which may be include taking out the gallbladder if that was the cause of the obstruction. So this is pancreatitis.